welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna talk about getting ready back to school <laughs> excuse my wrinkle t-shirt oh, no, it's not a t-shirt it's a dress <laughs> okay so the first step is get your school supplies make sure you got all your school supplies and everything always plan a wardrobe um, it helps you with you know making sure you got what you want to wear so you wake up in the morning you're like okay i got this i already know what i'm wearing because i prepared the, the day before and so you just get up um you have your alarm set you brush your teeth you groom you make do your hair you know you have your outfit ready to go you put it on select your perfume <laughs> um or cologne <laughs> um and you already have all your stuff ready to go um, make sure you attack that closet <laughs> make sure you have uh all new or if you still all the clothes that you have in your wardrobe is still up to date to your size to the age you are to the fashion around your age and year um, it's very important because you know you want to feel like you can be yourself and go <laughs> uh, make sure you make a plan for success um, by that I mean by knowing how to study and change be willing to change and try new things how to study differently because every year you go to a new grade so it from what happened last year might not work this year so be open to studying new and different ways um next step is make sure you have a place in your room or in the living room make sure you have a place where it's quiet you know you can study and focus the next step would be uh, planning your lunches uh, with what you like with what you have and making sure you have those ready the day before going to school or let's say you just got back from school and you do your homework you study and then you know you clean and do your chores and then make sure you prepare your lunches for the next day and your wardrobe for the next day to make it easier when you wake up in the morning and ready to go. The next step will be uh, taking a moment throughout the, your day and making sure everything's going by smoothly and going well for you and making sure that everything is up to date and it goes work well with your schedule. In the morning, this is the last step. <laughs> In the morning, I do suggest that you wake up, you have everything ready, you ready to go. In the morning, try to take a moment to meditate, reflect on who you are and make sure you breathe. Breathe out. Breathe in breathe out because it's important to know that you bring peace to yourself you might go through the day uh, trying to figure out how to solve certain problems and how to figure things out with friendships and try to get your life together but at the same time you need to bring yourself peace and i definitely do recommend that um because it's good to have peace within you because it will bring you joy and when you have joy that means you're your authentic self and that's a very wonderful thing and i want it's good to start out that day because some things don't go as planned they don't go as smoothly take a moment and just breathe in and breathe out and know that it's gonna be okay things are happening for a reason and things you are okay if you are physically okay things 
around you that are happening are things that you know you can't control you you have to learn to let go of and bring yourself peace because it's important for your mental health and your happiness and your peace after that you wake up in the morning you're ready to go you you're getting ready to go to school you're dressed you're groomed you have all the stuff that you need and you after that it's time for you to figure out um what is your transportation it's either bus walking or you know car rider uh, make sure that you leave in time to get there in time make sure you don't miss the bus wake up early uh, to get ready and know when to schedule that time to prepare yourself for the day uh, make sure you are eating breakfast <laughs> it's good to have uh, breakfast in the morning um, just for your overall health <laughs> I know sometimes life is not perfect but you what you can do for yourself is the most important thing and making sure you eat and you're healthy the next step will be arriving at least 15 minutes early at school and um, introduce yourself to your teachers to start off a, on the right foot get to know them who they are as a person and what do you expect from the classroom and what they expect from you in the classroom and you have overall good communication when you pay attention try to participate in your classes uh, talk to your friends and classmates about your summer and your teachers uh, Evaluate about all the good things you did and all the opportunities that you went through it during the summer uh, Try to enjoy yourself on your first day. Just relax. It's just the first day um, Ease your way in there <laughs> so uh, look up clubs and sports teams to join you want to join uh, make sure you are Looking on those things and trying new things explore or have an open mind and Learning new things Knock out you had some time during the summer to talk to your friends that you know from school so to make your back day to school your first day back to school easier <laughs> you Get all your school supplies so you have everything you need. Uh, pick out a cool and comfortable pack backpack for the new school year. Clean your room so it's organized for the school year, which when I was little. I will get up like two, three hours earlier before the bus gets there and I barely got to sleep, but <laughs> not the good. <laughs> but um, it's good to make sure your room is clean before you go to school. <laughs> I said, uh, get dressed for each school day like you're going to school, review your school, learning system schedule. Uh, you should plan or keep yourself organized, yes. Practice in your online classes assignments. Complete assignments, work and ask questions if you have them. <sighs> so, thank you for being here. Have a good day. Bye! <laughs>